In fair province, the land of lute and rose, Arnaud, great master of the lore of love, first wrought Sestinas to win his lady's heart. Since she was deaf when simpler staves he sang, and for her sake he broke the bonds of rhyme, and in this subtler measure hid his woe. <laughs> Harsh be my lines, cried Arnaud, harsh the woe, my lady, that enthorned and cruel rose, inflicts on him that made her live in rhyme. But through the meter spake the voice of love, and like a wildwood nightingale he sang when thought in crabbed lays to ease his heart. <laughs> It is not told if her untoward heart was melted by her poet's lyric woe, or if in vain so amorously he sang. Perchance through cloud of dark conceits he rose to nobler heights of philosophic love, and crowned his later years with sterner rhyme. <laughs> This thing alone we know, the triple rhyme of him who bared his vast and passionate heart to all the crossing flames of hate and love, wears in the midst of all its storms of woe. As some loud morn of March may bear a rose, the impress of a song that Arnaud sang. <laughs>
of his mother tongue, the Frenchman sang, of Lancelot and of Galahad, the rhyme that beat so blood-like at its core of rose. It stirred the sweet Francesca's gentle heart to take that kiss that brought her so much woe and sealed in fire her martyrdom of love. <laughs> And Dante, full of her immortal love, stayed his drear song and softly, fondly sang as though his voice broke with that weight of woe. And to this day, we think of Arnaud's rhyme whenever pity at the laboring heart on fair Francesca's memory drops the rose. <laughs> Sovereign love, forgive this weaker rhyme. The men of old who sang were great at heart, yet have we too known woe and worn thy rose. Mm -hmm.